In this video, I am going to find out the coefficients of this power series expansion. This is in the standard format, the power series summation n equal to 0 to infinity c sub n x minus a raised to the power n. If I expand it, this is what I get c sub 0 plus c1 times x minus a plus c2 times x minus a whole square plus dot dot dot. Our objective here is to get this coefficient c, c sub i's. That means I am looking for c sub 0, c1, c sub 2, in general c sub n. That's what the goal is. We are going to do this. We are going to find these values by taking the derivatives of the function, okay? By taking repeated derivatives of this function and evaluating those derivatives at point x equal to a. So let's start off with the very first one. This is our f of x, right? Uh, what is f of a? It, that is, if we evaluate the function at x equal to a. If you look at the right-hand side right here, all the terms are, are going to go away except for the first term, c sub 0. So f of a is nothing but c sub 0. Now let me go ahead and take the first derivative. The first derivative gives me this. So we are going to evaluate the first derivative at x equal to a. So f prime of x equal to a is just going to give me, look, all the terms, all of these are going to go away. That's going to give, give me c1. So your c1 is f prime of a. Next, we are going to find the second derivative. If we evaluate the second derivative at x equal to a, so f double prime x equal to a, again, these terms are going to go away, right? Because a minus a is 0. So only thing you're left with is 1 times 2 times uh, c2, which is nothing but 2 factorial times c2. So your c2 is going to be f double prime of a over 2 factorial. Now let me go ahead and find the third derivative. The third derivative is going to give me this expression. Now if I evaluate that at x equal to a, x equal to a, uh, once again, these, 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 the remaining terms are going to go away because a minus a is 0, right? Uh, I'm going to be left with 3 factorial times c3. So that gives me my c3 or c sub 3 to be f triple prime of a divided by 3 factorial. Now let me go ahead and take the fourth derivative. So the fourth derivative. My fourth derivative. And if I again evaluate this thing at x equal to a is going to be 4 factorial times c4, c sub 4. That gives me c sub 4 is equal to fourth factorial evaluated at, I mean, fourth derivative evaluated at a divided by 4 factorial. Now you kind of get the idea by now. Uh, so the nth uh, coefficient cn, c sub n, is going to be nothing but the nth derivative of the function evaluated at x equal to a divided by n factorial. This is a very important result. Now, using this very important result, this c sub n is equal to nth derivative of f evaluated at a divided by n factorial. By using this result, we could rewrite the power series. So f of x, which is going to be summation, n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now, this c sub n is going to be replaced by nth derivative of f evaluated at a divided by n factorial times x minus a raised to the power n. And this is a very powerful result. Uh, this is called Taylor series. Taylor series. This is the general uh, formula for Taylor series expansion of a given function at or about a point A. And there is a special version of this formula uh, which is called Maclaurin series. When this point A 
in question if this becomes nothing but zero if you expand it about zero then there is a, a modified version of this is called f of x is equal to summation n is equal to zero to infinity nth derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by n factorial times x minus a but a is zero so it's going to be x to the power n okay if you expand it this is what is going to be f of zero plus f prime of zero divided by one factorial times x plus f double prime of zero divided by two factorial times x square plus dot 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 plus nth derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by n factorial times x to the power n plus dot dot dot. So this is called Maclaurin series. So this is Maclaurin series. And Maclaurin series is very important and there are many situations where we use the Maclaurin series. So Taylor series, Maclaurin series, there are two fundamental things. You may want to make sure that you are comfortable with these uh, series expansions and how they work and how the coefficients are found. We are going to do a lot of problems involving Maclaurin series particularly and then some Taylor series as well. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.